Okay. So viewers, now I am in front of the Department of English in our Malayalam Government College, and we came here for taking some opinion from some teachers why most of the students can't get their expected score in recent HS examination, as well as uh, what should they do when they take admission in college level, those who are newcomer in college. And uh, I will find out some points why most of the students fail in English subject. Such kind of things I will speak with our teachers, those who are the authority or the instructor of our English department, especially. And in this period, our English is not second language, this is going to be third language in our country. And 95% of students in Moldova Government College they fail in English subject. So I'm going to find out what's the saga behind it. Well, there are a few points to consider. <coughs> Number one problem is that our students are always tend to memorize. This is one of the most important uh, problem with them. Uh, but basically, nowadays, uh, the new curriculum contains uh, the matters uh, in accordance with the need of their age. Also, they are um, related to the uh, modern situation, atmosphere, skills. Yeah. But students, uh, in uh, most cases, I, uh, this is my own view, they, they, they tend to memorize things. Though the syllabus is communicative one, but uh, they always try to memorize uh, this uh, communicative means language in use in application. So the textbook is prepared in this way, but they tend uh, to memorize them to depend on the books, to depend on private tutors, and uh, try to answer them. But this is a, this is a very beautiful, uh, I think, very effective curriculum nowadays they have. If they try to understand, if they try to gain, uh, try to acquire the matters by their own, they can succeed. So, in our school, we have no more money for the Yes. Ninety-five percent of students fail in English subject. So, as you are head of English department, so what's the point of view? Why do you think they fail English? In the first one or two months, we find the students in large number of students in our class. But as the day is going on the number is decreased. So I think that there is no option, no, any other option better than the classroom. In a classroom, they learn better. Our teachers also are trying hard to give the thing very effectively, to deliver their knowledge effectively, but students uh, uh, don't have any interest in uh, Maybe the reason is that sometimes uh, there are, as you see, there are series exams for honors years. In the coming days also we are going to have uh, honors part one exam. Uh, then uh, it will be followed by honors third year. Mm. And afterwards, then there will be master's final exam. So one after another, we need to use our classrooms. So the students only cannot be blamed for their absence in the class because sometimes uh, for long days, they could not uh, attend their classes. There are a small number of rooms, and we need to use our classroom as examination hall. So, my family question to you, ma'am, like that: uh, uh, What should be the best solution for them? How can they sustain their yes. results? Yes, uh, actually, we need more classes, and for more classes, we need a separate building only for examination purpose. Effective. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Since you are the student, you are the student of our college, you know better about our college. 
you know better about the mentality of our students. Most of the HSC students, when they come from school level, they think themselves kings. They think themselves free from any kinds of boundaries. They do not consider the classes to be very important. They come to the classes. Sometimes they come. Sometimes they don't come. Willingly they come and unwillingly they go. Sometimes they attend some teachers classes and sometimes they just don't care about the other teachers because from the very beginning they like some teachers and they go to their houses, they go to their teaching centers and they take their preparation there and they do not consider other teachers to be important. That's why they just miss their classes. It's, it's, it's one reason. Another reason is the students when they come out of a uh, school level project. In school level, they are bound to do all the classes. They are, they are not bound. We are not making them bound. That's why they are getting the chances. And our teachers are very regular. They just take their classes. There is no problem. Our principals are, and other teachers are really conscious about the students not doing classes not participating in the classes but some outer students they come from outer college and they just do not like to do any classes do not like to participate they come to the class and they make disturbance and these culprits actually pollute the students because of the television as well as the youtube we can see like the most of the teachers they are just uh, students coming to their house, coming to their IT bus app or taking some instructions privately. So I still cannot discuss that. As far as I am concerned and as far as our department is concerned, no teacher encourages any student to come to their classes, to come to their private no teacher. And as far as the whole environment concerned, the whole college concerned, I can tell you something clear, very frank, that there is no who can uh, encourage this bad practice to continue. There is no one. There may be, in past, there may be some teachers who did this, but now, nowadays, there is no one. They, can you name anyone? We know that, sir. We know that, sir. Honestly. Okay. If you can uh, give a uh, specific example of any name, then I can doing our classes in the teachers of English department. We never encourage them. We never tell anyone to come to our tuition. And they know it. They are our teachers. They are our students. And they know how sincere we are and what to do. We never encourage them. We just tell people, we just tell students, just come to our classes and we will discuss everything in class. You do not go to outside of the class. You know, I think, I think, Okay. 